It's my feel good breakfast show. Founded in 2016, the UN Chamber Music Society has dedicated itself to promoting the UN's goals at large through the universal language of music. And they're celebrating the 2021 International Nelson Mandela Day with a unique and a very creative flair as they launch a virtual concert in his honour on the 18th of July. Oh, it's all of the excitement, all of the hype at the moment. And joining us via video call right now is Ndaba Mandela, Tata Madiba's grandson, who's also founder and chairman of the Mandela Institute for Humanity. To share more about the concert, of course, we want to hear all about his involvement as well, uh, because he is one of the opening speakers <laughs> for the program. Dabba, good morning. Thank you so much for making the time. Good morning. How are you? Ah, oh, we're so fantastic, good. man. So good. Really good to be connecting with you. Obviously, during a very special month for us here, and I'm sure made all the more special for you uh, in, in relation to the relationship you shared with your grandfather and the incredible legacy that he has left. And you are living that legacy right now. I'm going to get right to the heart of this because I think a massive leap forward here, and in terms of the message that you are driving home with this year's lineup, you have included extraordinary black composers, Billy Childs, and George. George Walker featured in the concert. Why was it important for the organizers to include the talents of black people who have made great contributions in specifically classical and pop music history? As you know, um, a lot of people, you know, when they think about black music, they think about hip hop and rap and all the, you know, commercial urban sounds. But they don't understand that black people are very much talented and gifted across the spectrum. So it's important for us, you know, as we try to re remind people of the greatness of our grandfather, that he inspired us, that we all have that special gift within us. So no matter which career or path that you choose, you can excel as a black person. So we want to show young people that we have the talent as long as you are able to focus and nurture your gift, there is nothing that you cannot achieve. And this is going out for all the young black people across the world. Love that. Mm. This is really fantastic, uh, Ndaba. The, the singers on the program themselves, they range from Bob Marley's son and granddaughter, Gillian and Sarah, uh, to our own Afro-pop sensation, Vusi Nova, who we are absolutely obsessed with on the show. Uh, maybe tell us more about who's involved and the choices behind the performers that you've selected for this uh, program. Yes, so I met a young lady by the name of Brenda Van Gogh, who's actually uh, in charge of the UN Chamber of Music Society. And uh, she loved the concept of the Mandela Institute for Humanity because we are all about building Mandelas of tomorrow. And so she offered to then partner with us. So one of my good friends, his name is Rohan Mali, uh, Bob Mali's son. And so he then said, hey, why don't you partner with my former wife, which is Lauren Hale. And then she then brought Julian over as well. And then Vusinova is a, is a friend of mine that I've known. I asked him to join. And I've also got a cousin of mine who's an opera singer who is actually going to be doing a, 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 a rendition song from the Mandela Opera uh, that was released earlier this year. So for us, it was really about that family connection and making sure that everything, you know, from Bob Marley, last year uh, we had Ilyasa Shabazz, who is the daughter of Malcolm X, who said a few words as well. So it's really about gathering icons and inspiring new generations. Mm. I love mm. that. I, I love the familial legacies that are playing out through this kind of meeting of minds and of hearts and, mm. and the fact that, that everyone has really taken on board that we need to highlight across a wide variety. If you think of the program, it's sectioned into pop, into classical, into South African music. How do you think this variety will allow the performers to really showcase their styles and talents? And, mm. and what was the motivation behind having such a wide, kind of open, like you say, kind of uh, unfocused lineup, if you will? Well, as you know, when you talk about Nelson Mandela, you're not only talking about young people, but you talk about generations. And so yeah. we wanted to make sure that we capture three, four, five generations that, you know, that understand what Mandela stands for. And in so doing, if you capture the family, you will be able to capture the hearts, the minds, and imaginations of young people for them to be able to create even greater as we move forward. And for you personally, I mean, this must mean so much, you know. It must really give you a great sense of pride to be involved in this unique event, but to be spearheading it as well, especially in light of it being in honor of your grandfather and his very vast legacy. 
No, it is a great honor indeed. You know, um, we mustn't forget that the corona is still out there. And my, ourselves as the Mandela family, we were, you know, we were also touched by corona. I lost my great aunt Zinzi last year, exactly this time, as well as another cousin of mine. So, you know, it's, it's really about bringing that human family together and, and letting people know that we, each and every single one of us have a responsibility to do something for those who are less privileged than ourselves. That's what Mandela Day is about. It's about going out there and doing something good outside of yourself. Mm. Living mm. in the service of others. It sounds like you have pulled together the most amazing collection of, I know, friends of yours, um, but some amazing artists and the fact that everyone is driving a, a legacy, something that is vitally important to them, but also something that is so pertinent right now. So thank you so much for joining us this morning and for all of the exhaustive efforts behind the scenes. I think this is going to be a really special one. Thank you very much. Ah, thanks so much, Ndawa Mandela. It does promise to be an incredible ah, show. It's going to be very Indeed, special. it's the global launch of the UN Chamber Music Society's virtual concert for International Nelson Mandela Day 2021. It takes place at 3 p.m. South African Standard Time, 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time on Sunday, the 18th of July on UN Global's YouTube channel and on UN Web TV. That's webtv.un.org. Enjoy it. Don't miss it.